Welcome back, Vicarious viewers. My name is Vicente, and we are moving on to Episode 5 of Loki, Journey into Mystery. Um, I did have a little breather, a break, a little stretch after the last episode, but I am ready to jump into this next one. Um, the last one was exciting, to say the least. Uh, right there at the end, we saw Loki being pruned. And I was like, holy shit, are they really killing off this variant of Loki already? Um, I was like, where is the series going to go from here? I thought Loki was supposed to be in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Um, he was listed among the cast, I believe. But we got an end credit scene in the last episode, and it showed us that pruning is not the end. It is only being transported somewhere else. And we also got to see that in this other place, there are other Lokis, uh, which makes sense. Uh, they do say that the variant they've had the most trouble with is Loki in the past. There have been a lot of variant Lokis, and it seems like now they're all in one place. And what could they accomplish together? <laughs> um, we also saw that... The Timekeepers themselves are merely robot puppets of some wizard behind uh, the veil. Is this another Loki that has already taken control of the TVA, or someone or something that we haven't come across yet? That is a big question, but I stand by my theory that maybe it is another Loki. Another Loki has already made it to the top and doesn't want competition. Um, maybe this Loki at the top, maybe their sacred timeline is one that keeps him in control. Or her. Keeps them in control. Maybe it's a council of Lokis. Why does it have to be just one? Um, though one would make more sense. I can't see Loki sharing control. Uh, I see them, I see the Lokis being more inclined to be like, there can be only one. <laughs> but at least Sylvie is still at the TVA and has the upper hand over, what's her name? I don't remember her number or if she has a name at the moment. Have they said? Because there's 15, 20's dead. Do they ever say what her name is? I don't recall at the moment. Um, but let's see. What else happened? There was the many Lokis. I don't know if the little kid Loki was either holding just a pet alligator, but that alligator had horns, so is that an alligator Loki? That would be amazing. Um, it was an old Loki, kid Loki, and another one. I'm not picturing it at the moment. It just happened. But anyway, we'll probably just see it right now anyway. Oh yeah, Mobius did get pruned, but is Mobius in this other place too? Um, that would be awesome. And if they've been pruning like massive timelines, even if they've been like collecting people from timelines and created this massive TVA civilization, which did look massive, how many people are in this place? Like, wherever they are, if everyone they've ever pruned, if every timeline that's been erased sent all those people here, that's got to be massively huge itself. This must be an entire other universe unto itself. With all kinds of copies in one place. Of all kinds of entities. So this place must be some kind of massive chaos unto itself. <laughs> But yeah, I think I want to jump into this one. Please remember that this is not meant to be a market substitute. Please use your own legitimate subscription to Disney Plus to uh, watch Loki on your own. And then, of course, enjoy me on my reaction after. Or if you do want to see my completely uncut full-length reactions, you can check out my Patreon for only $5 and see my reactions to all of the Marvel Plus MCU series. Um, I got some movies on there and season two of Mindhunter. I do appreciate all of your support. Thank you so much. And yeah, let's jump into this episode. The Nexus event the two of you caused, ever that connection is, can bring this whole place down. Fine. See, I don't think they caused a Nexus event because that wouldn't make sense. 
Okay. Show us who is in control of the timekeepers. This is the second to last episode, too. So, shit's about to hit the fan. Seems like shit keeps hitting the fan like every episode, so... What kind of climax is this gonna have? What is this place? Where are we? Who are you? Is it the void? That's Elioth. We're his lunch. Come on! Elioth? Whoa, what is that? What if I said Loki wasn't dead? She knows that too? I'd set you a lion. I'm telling you this will mean dogma states that the end of time is still being written. That the timekeepers are transforming it into utopia. It's nice. Maybe not creating a utopia, maybe just like passing the buck down the line. Extending it. Making sure the current time doesn't stop. Is that a UFO? <laughs> or a hubcap? A massive hubcap. <laughs> Don't die isn't a plan. It's a general demand of living. If you're Loki, True. you should always have a plan. <gasps> Adorable birdies! What the hell is going on? It's like big blue quail. All I know is I got pruned, and I woke up here, and now I'm surrounded by variants of myself, plus an alligator, which I'm heartbroken to report I didn't even find. Well, that's strange. <laughs> God knows what, trying to get to God knows where. We're in a shark tank. Goliath is the shark. Hang on. You're telling me that thing's a Loki, too? Oh, yes. Okay. Yay. <laughs> Why? Well, like that. Why are there so many of you? We're done talking. Let's go. Where's Mobius? Is he here, or did he already get eaten? I don't want to believe he's already been eaten. Why do you wear the horns? You let a child command you. This is his kingdom, man. Right. What was your nexus event, your majesty? We killed Thor. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> That's gotta be a blow to Loki's ego. <laughs> he's like, you killed Thor before puberty? How? Well... Maybe Thor was before puberty too, so not hit his strongest. Congratulations, Loki. Oh shit! Who was that? What was that? Was that someone tiny? I have to catch that in editing. Judge Renslayer really feel betrayed by her beloved TVA. Why don't you come back out and we can talk about it? Sure. Oh shit. She's self pruned. Good. Hmm. Interesting choice. After I vanquished Captain America and Iron Man, I claim my prize. Oh no. That's alligator for growling and saying liar at the same time. <laughs> well, at least my Nexus event wasn't eating the wrong neighbor's cat. <laughs> 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 I removed myself from the equation. Landed on a remote planet and stayed there in isolation. In solitude. Enough to grow old. How did the TVA find you? I got lonely. I got about casts. Is that a juice box? <laughs> Kid Loki has a juice box. I'm going. I'm gonna kill Elias. And I could use all the help I can get. Ha 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 ha. You have to find out is how to kill it, but I wonder. I suppose they thought of it. What? Whoa. This is a nightmare. <laughs> okay, there's a lot more Lokis. <laughs> Wait, one of them looked like a woman. Unless that woman wasn't a Loki, just someone else. Because they said they'd never met another woman, Loki. What was that? Mobius! Is this Mobius? You shut the door, we still got yes! A bit of a okay. By the way, you should be careful just jumping into a stranger's car like that. <laughs> well, I think the alternative to getting in the car was uh, a bit of a no-go. The to our door. Oh, okay. The red-haired one isn't a girl. Apologies, my liege. I betrayed you, and now I'm king. About that. My army, my throne. About that. Okay. We had a deal. They're all backstabbers. It's their nature. Okay, so his army is not Loki's, they're just his army. 
<laughs> or maybe some of them are Lokis, because one of them had kind of like wire horns. That one. Maybe he's a more steampunky Loki. <laughs> uh, just throw the alligator Loki. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. <laughs> okay, we'll help you. Approaching Elias is a death sentence. Or just moving on to another plane of existence. Maybe there's another pocket universe inside Elias' belly. The only thing that matters now is getting out of here and finding out who's behind all of this. USS Eldridge. Oh shit, a whole battleship. Uh, maybe we uh, think a bit more about this, huh? But if it eats matter and energy, why did it leave anything behind? Oh. Even the ship itself. What? So you're all after the giant cloud monster too, then? Yes, we're gonna kill a lion. Oh my god, that was your plan. Yeah. <laughs> you all went along with it. I was, I was having my doubts. <laughs> What's your plan, then? I'm gonna enchant it. You said the stronger they are, the harder it is, and you have to, like, create an illusion for them. What would a life's illusion be? What is its past? Does it have memories? Besides endless consumption? Maybe its memory is a really good meal. <laughs> Maybe it had a, a really good Italy some millennia ago. <laughs> Does she know? For a second I was thinking like, does she know who's behind it? Hey y'all. The TVA had arrested a lot of Lokis, but no, I don't remember an alligator. I mean, who's to say he's even a Loki variant? He was green as me. <laughs> <laughs> that just I don't know why that's so funny. <laughs> Implied it love triangle. I ship it. <laughs> and before you tell me, like, hey, two guys can just be friends platonically, it's like, yes, they can, but a boy can dream, right? Oh. Okay, I thought they were like quail, but they're like balls on a vase. What? Huh. Please don't end right here, episode. Give us a little more. We don't know who created it or where they are, but that thing out there does. That is an assumption. But I caught a glimpse of something. Oh, that's why she thinks she can enchant it. I was wondering what that flash was before when she was running. I'm gonna have to like catch that in editing. Re I'm staying. Rewind. What? Uh, you go, I go. Oh, staying with her. I thought you meant like staying in the void. <laughs> okay. Thanks for the spark. See you later, Loki. Wait, where did he get that from? How is he leaving? Wait, did I miss where he got a temp pad? Oh, wait, did she have one when she, uh, pruned herself? That would make sense. But did I miss that? Okay. I'll probably catch that in the editing, too. But I always watch these things, like, at least two more times. So, I always catch everything eventually. Ah, uh, it's looking at her. Oh, shit. Okay, making an illusion so realistic of Asgard itself. Holy shit. Well, don't waste time while it's looking the other way. I think we're stronger than we realize. You are a god. Oh. Yeah, stop wasting time. Chop, chop. What are you doing? We're gonna enchant it! Together. Where's Kid Loki? Is he gonna help? Old Loki, no! Maybe he found his. Aww. 
It's now or never. Okay, we didn't get to see into the mind of whatever it is. Or will we? Some gleaming tower in the distance. Ah. Oh, and I have to wait another week now. Is there a credit scene here? Okay, no credit scene for episode 5. So only 4 did, huh. It's weird that they're so inconsistent with these. Okay, that was Journey into Mystery. We got to see that pruning is not the end, only another plane of existence at the end of time itself. Um... This was a lot of fun, seeing all the different Lokis, including Alligator Loki, uh, that offers so many more questions, but uh, I'll just go with it. <laughs> uh, like, was he always an alligator? Does he come from, like, a family of alligators? Are all the Asgardians in his reality alligators? <laughs> or was he turned into an alligator by someone or something? Or changed himself and either stayed that way purposefully or got stuck that way. But yeah, we may never know. <laughs> um, wow, okay. So old Loki did give himself for the others so they could achieve their goals. He found his glorious purpose to help his fellow Lokis. By his age, I imagine that he's existed for long enough and may have been ready. Who knows how many, like, millennia old he was already. I did find it interesting that Kid Loki was drinking a juice box on his throne. Because, I mean, at the rate that they age, I can imagine that that Loki was probably at least already a couple hundred years old. It's like, I think by that point you can move on from juice boxes. Yeah. Actually, yeah, I'll catch it in editing... Like, I'll watch this at least twice more, because, like, once through editing, and then I do like to watch these on the big screen in the living room, too, just to get the uh, full effect with the good sound system. But yeah, I assume that Sylvie had a tempad when she pruned herself to take with her, and that's what she gave to Mobius so he could go back to the TVA. Um, this episode did have, like, all this action and, of course, the fun with the other variants who, of course, are backstabbing each other along the way. Very Loki. Um, but yeah, this episode didn't give us any more, like, real revelations or new information besides that the pruning is not the end. So it didn't really give me much more to go on, like, theory-wise on how it will end. But yeah, I think my, uh, my theory stands. I think maybe there's, like, another Loki at the end of time that's been, like, pulling the strings this entire time. It would make sense. And it'd be, uh, very fitting for the series Loki. It's like, Loki's everywhere! <laughs> uh, but yeah. I think that's all, really, I have. Like, in editing and a rewatch, I'll probably think of other things to say, so I'll probably just, uh, have more to say before the finale. Um, but yeah, I will... Leave it there. What do you guys think? What are your theories going forward? Do you think there is a Loki at the end of time? Um, or do you think someone else is pulling the strings? Give me your theories in the comments down below. Hit like and subscribe if you enjoy reactions like these. Ring that notification bell so you don't miss a single one. And thanks for stopping in for this vicarious view.